Homo Polar Motors, let's build them. But first, what are they? Seriously, I am confused. Today, we will be making a few of the simplest forms of electric motors. Specifically, the Homo Polar Motor, which uses direct current, like a battery, to power rotational movement. But first, make sure you like the video to prove that you are not an internet troll. Nobody likes those guys. Before we pretend to understand this topic, let's show them what needs to be done. Sure. First off, we're going to need some batteries. We have quite a few different kinds of batteries here, but mostly we're going to be using double A's. The other day I found out how electricity was measured, and I was like, what? Some small neodymium magnets and some not so small ones. We also have quite a few different gauges of copper wire, some big stuff and little stuff. Each one has a different purpose. All that needs to happen is we need to connect the magnet to the bottom of the battery, bend the wire so it hangs from the top of the battery and touches the magnet. We're going to use a small nut just to keep the connection of the wire to the top of the battery. Voila! Rotation is created. That's so cool. That's cool. Contrary to popular opinion, the rotation is not created by the battery siphoning life from endangered species. Is that a popular opinion? <laughs> I really hope so. <laughs> Let's try a few more designs. three forces we are working with are magnetic fields, electrical currents, and force. Where two of those exist, the third one will also be present. For example, this is a roll of aluminum foil. It is completely non-magnetic. However, we have a magnetic field, and we can provide force by dropping this through the tube. That, in turn, will create an electric current through the tinfoil thus slowing the magnet's descent if I were to drop it through the tube. So, there we go. It's actually taking a long time. I'll show you how slow it's going. If I, I'm going to take one of these magnets here. So this is non-magnetic, but it should stick through the tinfoil to the magnet. So I'll show you how slow it's moving moving that slow all the way down. That's simply due to the fact that it is creating an electrical current. Huh. What? <laughs> it smashed the smaller magnet to billions of pieces. Oh goody. Cool. Huh. Another form of homopolar motors is simply take some magnets and attach them to a screw. Then attach that screw, which is now magnetized, to the underside of a battery. If we were to connect the positive terminal at the top, to the magnets at the bottom, they spin. Now that's a little bit hard to see, so let's add on a bit of a paper clip or a safety pin. There you go. You know, I've been going through a lot of batteries lately. Do you want them? They're free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this video is going to get scientific for a bit, so put on your concentration face and listen up. The homopolar motor creates rotational movement using what's called the Lorenz force. The movement is created by a combination of electric and magnetic force on a point charge due to the electromagnetic fields. A conductor, the wire, with a current flowing through it when placed in a magnetic field, which is perpendicular to the current, feels a force in the direction perpendicular to both the magnetic field and the current. This force provides a torque around the axis of rotation. The first recorded homopolar motor ever built was by Michael Faraday in 1822. 
A simple way to remember this is either Fleming's right hand rule or the right hand slap rule. Your thumb always points in the direction of the current. Your index finger will always point in the direction of the magnetic field, and either your middle finger or your open palm points in the direction of the force, just like a slap. Let's make another! Okay, this time we'll make a different kind of motor. If we grab some magnets and a few safety pins here. And we clip them together. Like so. We create a cradle. Yeah, that will fit our spinning disc perfectly. Now I'm gonna switch this out for one that I prepared before because this one's balanced pretty good and I takes a while to get balanced correctly. Now it is really frustrating to try and get this to be balanced, but I think that we have it. If we slide it through these holes, there's a magnet here and that provides the magnetic field. Connecting it through the clothespins creates the current. And there it goes. Oh, almost there, yeah, there it is. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! hey. <laughs> Very cool stuff. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bloopers are coming up, so stay tuned. See you next time. Before we pretend. I was trying to think up a good electricity pun. Now my head hurts. Contrary to oh. I... <laughs> Lorenz principle and force. The Lorenz. Some people call it the L force. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> let's go. Okay, this time let's make a different kind of motor. Oh, look at the time! <laughs> it has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> <laughs> if we had a power outage, that would be a current event. <laughs> <laughs>